there are over 117,000 gang members in the city of Chicago. 117,000 gang members in the city of Chicago. That's not bad enough. They're broken down into 55 major gangs, broken down into 20, I'm sorry, 747 factions of those 55 major gangs. And those 747 factions are broken down into 2,500 subsets of those factions. I'm going to say that again real slow. I'm going to say that again real slow. I'm going to say that again real slow. 117,000 gang members in the city of Chicago, 55 major gangs account for that 117,000, 747 factions, and 2,500 subsets of those factions. And any day of the week, any hour of the day, several hundred gang conflicts related to that 117,000 gang members. In a city known for its fearsome super gangs, criminal enterprise, like the mob, gangs, Chicago has its own culture from graffiti on the walls to how the south side and the north side are separated. In Chicago, it's where you're born that defines who you are, not your race. This is gang life. <laughs> Cartel got me working for the big faces Federally got my car full of brick cases Hit the pen with a grin, there ain't no faking Eyes picked to my back for my shoelaces God out, shoulda seen the look on they faces All jealous cause your boy stacking hella paper Set up by the crew, they done put a banger In the trunk of my car and left me to hang there No thing, then attorney went and beat the case Got a job digging holes for minimum wage Had a dream that Cato said he proud of me Stay here, don't leave, keep doing your thing Quit the drugs, but you know I went back to selling Six times failing, I went back to prison Got my head right, got my bread right Push these weights like a kilo in a tailpipe Trying to do right, I got a mission Trying to get back to my boys in the prison The old me's gone, I ain't never gonna miss them From wrong to strong, stay true to the vision From wrong to, to strong From wrong to strong, from wrong to, to strong, from wrong to strong. What's up, guys? JC, Wrong and Strong. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell, so you don't miss none of my shenanigans. You know, you'll get a smile, a laugh, even a cry if you watch all my videos. <laughs> If you are part of my Ron Strong crew, Raza, Familia, you already know. Suban Sala Suburban. We're gonna take a ride down Chicago. What street should we take? Uh, I like taking Western all the way down to the north side. That's a pretty long ride, so, you know. I wanna talk about something very, very. Something that's been happening for a long time, but I guess people really. Turn the blind side because it's it's in bad neighborhoods, so people don't care, I guess. But Chicago is considered to be the most gang-infested city in the whole U.S. They say that they have over a hundred thousand members, active members, with at least 60, 60 factions of that gang. And what they mean about that is, like I've told you, is that Chicago has a very unique gang culture and, and stuff is that there's you know um I, I'll, I'll use the same disciples for an example so it'll be the same disciples from 18th and oakley but then it'll be the same disciples from 18 and cal same disciples from 24th and rockwell 42nd 47 50th 59th so those are all different factions, but they're all the same gang. They all get along together. They all ride together. Not, not as much as they used to be because now they're breaking up into more and more and more and more. Uh, it's just like the the uh, Black Gangster Disciples. They broke that. They broke into like four gangs. 
So now those are start breaking up into more and more. So that's what that means. It's 60, and I think that's low. 60 factions, sh it should be a lot more. But gang, gang retaliation and warfare is like common. It happens all the time. Gangs in Chicago are responsible for 61% of the homicides. And then you wonder why they call us Chirac? Chirac. Chirac. Why can't I ever pronounce words right? And July... In July this year, in July of this year, uh, I think it was July 22nd, 2020, I read an article where there was a shooting in Chicago that took place in a funeral home where there was an awake being held by another gang member that had got killed, but a retali retaliation took place as the wake was happening, and they shot like 15 people, even a little girl. Um... And this is more common than you guys actually think. It is it's like super common. I, in my years of being in Chicago, I seen that shit happen like five times. On the funeral home on Archer, I think it's Pulaski, and at the funeral home on uh, 59 and Kedzie. Like, it's, it's actually pretty normal for these guys to just go up there and start shooting up. All the members are in there, you know, looking at the dude or, or, or the family and stuff like that. It's, it's crazy because Chicago's always been like that. It's always been a gangster-ass city. But, like, now it's, like, out of control because now there is no, no leadership. There is no program. There is no manifesto. There's no, there's nothing. So everybody's just, you know, wild, wild west. Different GDs are breaking up from other GDs. Different, you know, same sets are fighting same sets from other. It's crazy. It's crazy. I went to Chicago a couple months ago and I couldn't believe how much the gangs have spread out to the suburbs. You know, uh, Bolingbroke, Aurora, Waukegan, Rockford, all those. It's spread out like wildfire. And that happened because they tore down all the projects too on down State Street. They, they, what they did is they, they broke up. They tore down all the all the like projects, all of them, and they were huge. I'm talking about thousands, thousands of people, and they sent all these people out to the suburbs. So all they did was just spread the gangs, spread the gangs, and it's it's become a problem now because the homicide rate is so high, and the gangs are taking over these streets that it's crazy, man. A lot a lot of dudes are catching time. Like I've never seen so many of my dudes in Chicago going in for murders like I did last year and the year before that like just murders 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 and it's crazy I mean it is what it is right Chicago Chicago it's a beautiful city a lot of culture a lot a lot of history from every race you could possibly think of it's a beautiful city I love my city but man Stop teaching these kids how to gangbang. Stop teaching them about colors. Stop teaching them to hate. Stop teaching them to carry fucking guns and stop teaching them to fucking sell drugs. If you're teaching another person how to do something like that, then you're the problem. Because it's fuckers like you that destroy kids' lives in that neighborhood. My name is JC and I am Ron Strong and I lived that life. I spent 17 years of my life incarcerated. State, federal, and Mexican prison. I don't want that for the new generation of these kids. It's time to educate yourself. It's time to get better. It's time to be somebody. Lead by example. Be a true leader. You want to be a true gang leader? Then do what's right and lead by example. Right now, the most dangerous gangs that are causing the most havoc in Chicago are the gangster disciples, the vice lords, the Black Peace Stones, Land Kings, Black Disciples, Maniac Latin Disciples, and Spanish Cobras, and the Saints. Big gangs, old gangs, a lot of, lot of roots, a lot of ties to Chicago from way back in the day. I know that it's going to take time, and maybe it will never get fixed. Maybe It probably won't. But what I'm saying is do your part. Do your part and be a fucking real leader. If you guys want to check out my everyday life, you know, not on this, uh, my Ron Strong channel talks more about the gangs, the prison, the cartel, what I've been through and what I lived. 
My Married to a Savage channel that I leave on the cards, it's about my everyday life now with my wife, my gym, my brand, my company, what it is. Those 17 years of pain taught me one thing, that I'm a lot stronger than I used to think. So I'm just asking you, think the same. My name is JC. I am Wrong Strong. Give somebody a hug. Don't judge nobody. Stay in your lane. And remember, if you live easy, life is hard. If you live hard, life is easy. I'll check you guys on the rebound.